What is sexier and more useful than a thong? From exotic dancers to people not wanting to show underwear lines, the thong is there to titillate and aid in keeping you from embarrassing yourself in public. But what's it like to actually wear a thong? Well, we could have simply asked literally any female in the world, but we thought it'd be really funny. Uh, we thought well, we needed a scientific investigation into the pros and cons of this underwear choice. So once more, we turn to your favorite guinea pig as we task him with wearing man thongs for a whole week. Day 1. Is anybody in our audience old enough to remember the thong song? Just curious. Cisco. Because that's been stuck in my head now since I first opened the email with this challenge. Wearing man thongs for a week? Well, I've already went commando, so honestly, what could be so hard about this? Well, turns out I have to go buy them first. Because of course, Infographic isn't going to spare a single ounce of potential humiliation if they can't help it. Oh, and I also have to go to a public pool and try out the swim style too, because apparently that's important to the thesis of this challenge. They literally wrote that in the assignment email that they needed to, and I quote, understand how thongs operate in an underwater environment. Right. It has nothing to do with the public humiliation. Well, the one person who's got no problem with the challenge is the girlfriend, who's been looking at me with this weird half smile, half daydreaming look on her face since I told her about the challenge. I asked her what was going on, and she finally kind of blushed a little bit and said, I don't know, I think I'm kind of turned on by this whole idea. I blame that male stripper movie, what was it called? Oh yeah, Magic Mike. She never saw it. We don't do anything that could take the intimacy focus away from each other, and honestly, we never really need to. But I think she really likes the idea because, well, she's had me strip for her on more than one occasion. <laughs> hey, when you're with someone long enough, you have to put effort into your romantic life and keep it exciting for both of you. So now she's apparently kind of really excited about me having to wear these for a whole week. If this turns into a whole role-playing thing and ends with me getting a job in a male strip club, I'm going to be calling it quits on this whole challenge thing. The rules are simple. Buy man thongs, wear man thongs, 24 hours a day for a full week. I'm not sure what to expect. I've never worn anything similar before, honestly. It kind of seems like thongs would just give you a permanent wedgie and you'd have that uncomfortable feeling all day long. I guess I'll be finding out. See you guys in three days. Day 3. The first thing I had to do was go actually buy me a thong. And it turns out you really can't just go anywhere and buy a thong for men. I went to Target at first and, well, they didn't carry any. Though the girl I asked for help in finding them gave me a very odd look for a moment after I asked her. I went to another chain store and same luck. Finally, I texted the girlfriend for help in finding somewhere and I could practically feel her rolling her eyes through the text message. She told me, go to an adult clothing shop. In hindsight, that's kind of obvious. I asked her to come with me because I felt it'd be really weird going into a place like that on my own, and I guess I thought it would be less weird if I went in there with my significant other. She agreed, and an hour later we were both in a small boutique shop. That's the great thing about Los Angeles, you can find literally anything here. The store was run by an older woman who was super friendly to us as soon as we walked in and then immediately started asking us about ourselves. She told us she'd been married for over 20 years and then went into way too much detail about their love life and why she opened up the store. Then she looked the girlfriend up and down and said something along the lines of, Ooh, you're a hot mama. Have I got some things for you to wear that'll put him on his knees? That's when I had to explain that we were actually here for me. And she sort of looked me up and down and said, Oh, well, good for you, honey. You know, most men don't even put any effort into it. Did I mention how overly friendly this woman was? Well, I told her I was looking for thongs for men. And she showed me to an astonishingly large selection of them. And let me tell you, I'm a pretty confident guy. I exercise regularly and watch what I eat. But man, I was immediately intimidated intimidated thinking about having to walk around in one of these things. I feel like for a man to confidently walk into a store and buy a male thong, he either has to be European or a male stripper. Well, I selected three, although the girlfriend maybe put back a kilt thong and told me not to be ridiculous. Yes, a kilt thong, as in a tiny little kilt that was also a thong. I'm not making this stuff up. I went into the changing room with my three thongs and slipped the first one on. Honestly, I wasn't even sure what it was supposed to feel like. What would be a good fit, so to speak? What I do know is that I turned around to look at myself in the mirror and realized something. There were no mirrors in the changing stalls. There's only one mirror and it's outside, in the small hallway where all the stalls are at, and which is wide open to the rest of the store. That seems like poor design choices in my opinion. So I slid out of my stall, hoping the store didn't immediately become packed with people while I was in my stall, and I ran straight into another guy. Like 
we literally ran into each other and touched chest to chest and, well, other parts too. I guess his girlfriend or wife or whatever was in another stall and he was going to check on her or something when I came out of my stall and we ran into each other. Hey, you know what the most uncomfortable thing is in the world? Making chest to chest contact with another guy when all you're wearing is a half millimeter of fabric wrapped around your package. I think I saw him die a little inside when I looked into his eyes. I know I certainly did. He hurriedly shuffled past me, mumbling an apology. Oh man, this is going to be a hell of a week. So the girlfriend was waiting by the mirror along with the shopkeeper for some strange reason. Somehow she'd become part of our <laughs> shopping experience, as if she didn't have a store to run. The girlfriend's eyes immediately went wide and then she started <laughs> laughing, but then she kind of quieted down and bit her lower lip. The shopkeeper looked at her and winked at me and said, I think she likes it. I looked in the mirror and, well, you'd seriously better have some good body image if you're thinking of wearing a thong, because those things leave nothing to the imagination. Also, um, they are drafty, to say the least, like I was there on full display keeping almost no secrets from any prying eyes. I decided I really didn't need to know what they looked like on me and rushed back into the stall. The challenge was officially on, so I just wore it out under my jeans and ripped out the tags so they could be rung up. The shopkeeper was nice enough to recommend a swimming set, but she warned us that some public beaches forbade the wear of thongs for men or women. No mention of public pools, though. So I've been wearing these things for two days now and, well, it feels strange, to say the least. Before I even went to try one on, I realized that these things are so tiny that I'd have to, well, manscape, if you will. Only turns out you have to manscape, like, a lot. Basically, unless you want to look like a gorilla in a speedo, you have to weed whack almost everything away. That left my skin extremely sensitive and, well, the material is really soft and the feeling of it on your skin can sometimes be kinda nice. I didn't mind that much. What I did mind is the tendency that thongs have to ride up on you. More than once, my thong ended up poking out the top of my jeans and I'd catch people staring. Once, it happened in front of a lady and her small kid while we were waiting in line at Panda Express, and I'm pretty sure that this lady now thinks I'm some sort of deviant because she quickly moved her child to the opposite side of her body, away from me. Oh, I very quickly forgot about bending over to pick things up. Instead, I bend at the knees now for everything, which is kind of really weird to see a guy do. But you know, I don't want to keep looking like a tramp in public. That's half of my week's worth of observations. See you guys at the end. Day 7. Who knew wearing man thongs would be such a journey? One of the things I regularly do is go to the gym and do laps in the pool. It really helps with my back and my leg injuries from my service years and keeps me from getting really sore. If you've been watching our show for a while, then you already know that going commando is nothing new for me. I occasionally do it, and you know what? If you show up at the gym changing room and you drop your pants and aren't wearing underwear, it's literally no big deal. There's tons of naked dudes in a men's locker room. It's the most natural thing in the world. Dropping your pants and revealing you're wearing Wearing a thong, though? Now that gets attention. And it's not very comfortable attention, it's just not normal. Also, and I didn't expect this at all, I kind of felt extremely self-conscious, which is weird because I just mentioned that at least once a week I drop trousers in front of several dozen men and shower off in a big shower room full of them. Being naked is honestly not a big deal for me, but being in a thong? Well, that was different. Wearing a thong is like making a statement and my uncomfortable feeling came from a nagging question in the back of my mind which I couldn't help but ask myself, can I pull this thing off? I feel like when you're wearing a man thong, you're saying to the world, look at me, I have the body to do this. Am I the only one that thinks this way? Like I said before, I'm in good shape, but I'm definitely not like the male models and catalogs that actually sell these things. I guess this is what it feels like to be a modern woman. Wow. I'm so sorry, ladies. Well, if it was weird to drop my pants and show to the locker room that I was wearing thongs, it was even weirder then to switch into thong swimming bottoms. How can I explain them? Well, imagine you have the tiniest sack in the world and you have to stuff all your self into that sack and then the tiniest bits of string stretches around your waist to keep the whole thing from falling off. That was my bathing suit. I think I was 99.99% bare flesh. Nothing, and I mean nothing was left to the imagination. Not knowing if I'd get kicked out or not, I strutted out to the pool and waited for a lane to be clear so I could hop in and do my laps. Lucky me, the place was pretty decently packed, although since it's a gym, there were no kids around. Pretty sure at this point, I could have been arrested as a sex criminal if there had been a minor in that gym. Nobody stared at me more than the head lifeguard on duty. It was like he was trying to figure out if there was any sort of regulation against my swimwear. Obviously, you're not allowed to swim naked, that's against regulation. 
sessions, but how much of a difference is there between naked and a few inches worth of cloth I was physically wearing? In the end, none of the lifeguards said anything and I was happy to get in the water and get my shrink-wrapped plums out of the line of sight of several dozen eyeballs. When I tell you that this left nothing to the imagination, I mean it. Although, as I was doing my laps, I have to admit, it feels so much better swimming this way. It felt so free, like I was just me in the water and nothing between me and the sweet caress of Mother Nature. I felt like a dolphin just sliding through the water effortlessly. No friction, like a hot knife through butter. This is the way a man was meant to swim. Then I climbed out of the pool and I realized why I had been feeling so free. My thong had slipped completely off and was floating somewhere in the middle of the pool. I stood there, my captain's mast on full display to men and women of all ages, and the next thing I remember is like four lifeguards whistles blowing at the same time, and the nearest lifeguard throwing her towel on me and yelling at me to get out. And that's the story of how I'll never be returning to that gym ever again. Thanks, infographics. Alright, so other than marking yet another public place off the list of places I'm allowed to show my face at, how was my week wearing man thongs? Honestly, you kind of get used to it. The string up my cheeks really bothered me for a while and then I kind of just got used to it. It really just sort of fades from your mind, although it does make you strangely sensitive to stimuli like the fabric of your jeans rubbing against the fabric of your thong in the front. Also, it turned the girlfriend into a total hornball. I don't think either of us knew about this secret fixation she apparently has with man thongs, but even though I won't be wearing them voluntarily ever again, and definitely not for swimming, I'm also going to hang on to them for, you know, special events. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm pretty sure the girlfriend is about to ask me to sign up for male stripping lessons. That's another pressing scientific question answered by your favorite lab rat. And now that we're at the end of the video, why not discover more about the weird, wonderful world we live in? Or maybe you just want to see other ways we've tortured everyone's favorite guinea pig. Click on this video over here or this one right here.